the day after when we found this information out that he was in the room, the Department of Defense put out this statement, okay, um, that he wasn't there, he was there, then when he was there, he had no input to this, and that he is a, he is a great military officer, his loyalty is the oath to the Constitution and the people of the United States, and that he, in fact, is now taking a command somewhere out in, uh, you know, Hawaii, I believe. Um, you know what? Now we find out not only was he there, he was the person, along with another general saying, no, I will not recommend to the Secretary of Defense or the Secretary of the Army that we give you the resources. Now I don't believe. It. All right. Now that is a person who needs to be brought before a tribunal of the chairman of the Joint Chiefs or whoever is command authority to determine, did he cover up for the president of the United States at that time and his brother? His brother spoke at that, uh, at that rally, even though they claim afterwards they were upset that there was a riot. That general disarmed the National Guard deliberately. And his statement, I want to see him under oath, hand up, in uniform, come up and tell me that, 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 that General Warren's a liar, right? I want to see him say that, that the National Guard commander's a liar. One of you two is lying. That's how the military works. There's no in-between. There's no yellow. One of you two is lying. One of you two is going to lose all of your stars here. Hmm. Your oath was to defend the people of the United States and the Constitution of the United States. And his phrase, I don't think it would be good optics to do that. Your brother was on stage. What you should have said was, gentlemen, I'm sorry. I'm compromised on this subject. Uh, I'm going to leave the room and not take part in this. Right? And Michael, I would have. Any man of honor would have. 